There's a whistle from our referee, Joe Dickerson, and we are underway. Brody. Brody, will he have a go? No, he'll lay it off. Sergio Cordova, sharp angle, saved by Polskamp. Zavarino. Polskamp pushes it past the far post. He's really close when that ball comes off his foot, but the referee keeps the flag down the AR on the near side. Big first save from Polskamp. And as Roger Espinosa gets that push header away, falls to Jefferson Saverino. Good little Kelly Rudy kick save right there. That's what Real Salt Lake is in it, dire need of. Marcel finding some space down that left side. Brody for Miram. Flag is down. Miram saved again by Polskamp. Saverino can't settle that ball. Going wide to Brody. And Justin Miram, a little head faint. Drops the shoulders into space, 1v1 with the goalkeeper. Gets around Nisimov Marine, and then Polskamp lays out six foot, what, five frame to his left hand side. Stays big, and just that big old right bear claw swatting that ball away. 35 years old now, Espinoza, the vet. Now Pablo Ruiz looking at a four man wall. We'll have a go and go. He's punched away. That was on frame. Polskamp has his fourth save, and that might have been the best one defend that. Well, right now, it's hotter than Blue Hell for Polskamp in goal. It's the fourth and fifth time he's been up for the challenge from Real Salt Lake and been forced into a pretty big save. For Polskamp, good push. He wanted to keep it out for a throw. The far post, Silva. Savarino, a rocket! Polskamp, his fifth save! Herrera has a go, and that left a mark. You go back to the save on Jefferson Savarino. Gets that side volley down, looks far post side net, had eyes. And Polskamp quickly down underneath him, and that's that tight range where it gets a little bit awkward. Saverino for Chang. Brody, Miram. Chang, Chang turning. Chang leaving it for Brody. Brody towards the spot. Cordova! Sergio Cordova the header, and RSL takes the lead. Justin Merrim flies Michael Chang. Watch this way to the pass for Brody. He gets on the end of it. And it's the angle in which Sergio Cordova takes. He gets to the inside of Volador. Isimov Marine wants a foul from the AR to be flagged. Curling inside the left foot. That is a fantastic ball from a right foot predominant player in Brody. And Sergio Cordova rises up well. And that diving header, he just gets enough on it to get it past Polskamp, who's just hung. He's at the mercy of the defending in front of him. And Sergio Skordova gets his fourth goal of the season. First one tonight. Paulo Ruiz. Herrera. Herrera around one defender. Herrera concerns. Cordova just wide. He nearly had the brace. He had the keeper at his mercy. Well, the touch here from Aaron Herrera. Watch the push back across the defender's body. Serves this ball up well. Cordova rises up well and just inches. Espinoza and Lopelson. Is that going to be back yeah. in pocket? He's going straight red for Roger Espinosa. But even with the quote-unquote foul downgraded, is it just the yellow card? That's still the second yellow. Miram. Severino. Ruiz. Pablo Ruiz. Paulo Ruiz, he's got that penalty on the road at Colorado earlier this season. Justin Merrim finds Jefferson, and instead of taking it to his right, he just sets himself up. Everybody in the stadium knows this ball's coming off his left foot. And then it's just, is it power or is it placement? Is it laces or is it inside the foot? He ends up striking it with laces. That accuracy is incredible. Sets himself up, throws a little rub on it. Far post, side net, second goal, immediately following the red card for Roger Espinosa. And now Peter Vermes immediately gets Kyrie Shelton off the bench. Severino, now wide, Herrera driving it in over Polsiamp. Did he get a touch? 
It's not going to matter. Miram keeps it in. Miram puts the top of the six. Yes, it's 3 0. Savarino with the finish. Miram with assist 51. And the route is on. This is four goals and three assists. You talk about impact. Polskamp misreads the service from the right hand side. 1v1, Justin Merrim creates space, the service, and again, completely, completely unmarked. Yeah, for some Sovereigno, rises up in between both center backs, and it's just a glancing header. All he's got to do is keep it on frame, that's exactly what he does. And Real Salt Lake make it 3 0, as now the changes are starting. Jasper Lafos. Miram. Ruiz in front. Tap in. It's Savarino again. It's 4 0. The flag is up. It is 3 0. That one is coming back. And the far side was correct with the ball, and it looks like he is. As Paolo Ruiz was drifting, it would be Isimet Marine. If anybody kept him on side, it would be the number five. And check complete. They are going to judge. Skill check from Aaron Herrera bringing that ball down. Herrera. Hidalgo. Over the top for Anderson Julio. Will the flag stay down? Anderson Julio. Here comes Pulse Camp. Anderson Julio. Around him. Down he goes. It's penalty. Flag up offside. Anderson Julio. As he's turning from that angle, and again, we're not having a straight look angle across. He's got so much pace. He's in behind. Everyone feels like he's in an offside position. This is the only part of the game that concerns me right there. A significant conversation about whether you wanted to train in the mornings or you wanted to train late at night. Hidalgo, the great flick. Here's Anderson Julio. He's on now. Out comes Polskamp. Oh, and he makes a big save. Anderson Julio tracking down the rebound. His first goal here was on set piece. Yeah, half the battle. But you can tell he strikes fear in any defense he comes up against. We were looking for a response. Pablo Mastroeni and his group got the response.